Hey loves, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Howl Ken, that's on period. I'm back you guys. And today I'm coming to you guys with something different. We are gonna be doing Reddit confessions today. Ah, I'm so freaking excited. I read Reddit confessions on the daily, okay? So if there's anyone to react to these, there's no one better than me, okay? If you've been on Reddit, you know the crazy stuff people be posting, so. Yeah, this is gonna get real spicy, okay? Um, I had my best friend send me Reddit confessions because I wanted it to be like a um a blind reaction type of thing. Like I wanted to my reactions to the confessions to be authentic, and I trusted her. I'm like, you know, I trusted the fact that she'll give me some juicy ones, and I haven't read them yet because you know I wanted it to be a blind reaction, but I don't doubt that they're juicy. Okay, I mean, be for real. <laughs> but yeah, she sent me a few and I'm really, really excited to, you know, start this. So yeah, guys, let's stop wasting time and get into the video. Let's get freaking started. This person has two confessions. So we're going to be reading the first one. I'm going to respond to it. And then we're going to read the second one. I'm going to respond to that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the first one, he says, it's a guy. He says, there was a girl I had been seeing for a few months. I was 21 and she was 24 and had a boy about two years old. She was basically normal. She had a good job. She took care of her kid okay. She, but she was kind of not very bright. I was bored in the relationship and I didn't want to become a stepdad to the kid, so I ended it. He goes on to say, I ran into her a month or so later at a bar and we end up going back to her place for a night of, you know, they hooked up, okay? The next morning, she makes coffee, breakfast, I go to school, she goes to work, and then I get incredibly sick on the way to school. I throw up multiple times, make it to school, still puking, and I find the nurse office and vaguely recall being loaded into an ambulance where is this going okay so he goes on to say i come in i come to it in the hospital like he wakes up a doctor tells me i od'd on an enormous amount of meth and had about five minutes to live before they figured it out oh and by the way there was some federal agents there to talk to me Turns out she had planned this whole thing and decided that if she couldn't have me, no one could. She went to jail but got a reduced sentence for turning in the family member that was making and distributing the meth. If that's his first confession, what his second confession look like? What? She legit literally took, if I can't have you, no one can. To a whole different level. Why are you drugging someone? Because they don't want to be with you. Things like this really happen to people. Like dead ass. Like there be things like this. That genuinely happen to people. In this world. Some of the Reddit confessions. Will literally blow your mind. And this is literally one of them. Like I don't know what to say. Sis, sis was trying to kill him. That's what sis was trying to do. She was trying to kill this man. Because he didn't want to be with her. I feel like, here's the thing, what he got to do, first of all, the fact that he even said that she got to reduce sentencing, you know, just because she turned in the guy who, you know, who was distributing the meth, excuse me, this girl tried to murder me and you're ready to give her a reduced sentencing because she turned somebody in. What about the fact that I turned her in? Huh? No. And second... He need to go, change his whole freaking identity, his name, his looks, go do everything to change himself up, dip, go to a different country, forget a state, don't even hop states, country, get out of here, because that girl was trying to kill him, and I don't think she's finished with him. If she gets out, I feel like she's going to come back to finish the job. That's scary, and I'm sorry that you had to go through that, sir. But that also brings into question, 
What type of females y'all be messing with? What type of people y'all be dating? But I'm going to it. Huh? I'm going to show it. I'm Let me stop. No, that... I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. Like, he was wrong in some places too, but also like... Well, I don't feel like he was wrong. I mean, it's not wrong to leave somebody. You're not feeling them no more. Like, you're not obligated to stay with somebody. But I guess she took that little hookup real personal. The second confession, okay? He says, not as bad. I dated casually for a few weeks. I decided the girl wasn't for me, so I called it off. I get a call a week or so later saying I have, saying that I gave her gonorrhea. WTF. Go to, I go to the doc, get tested. The results came back. I'm clean. It then comes back to me that it was just a revenge for breaking up with her. She was going to tell me that she was pregnant and make me pay for her abortion? Sis? But was talked out of it by her best friend. I would have rather paid the money. Shit, me too. I feel like he's the problem because red flags are a thing. Like, how you get in with these type of crazy ass women and don't know that they're psycho? They literally got a screw loose up here. And I'm pretty sure throughout y'all relationship, throughout whatever y'all had, they were showing signs that they a little. So why you still stay? What, where are you finding these crazy ass women? Where are you going looking for women? She done what? The next one says, I, 20 year old female, have an obese 20 year old male boyfriend. We've known one another since the eighth grade, but only started dating no more than three years ago. I must mention, he is, he is an incredible boyfriend. He's beyond the best and I couldn't replace him for anybody, which is why I want him to change himself so badly. When we started dating, sure, he had some, or what most would say, very bad eating habits. He rarely worked out. When he did work out, he'd push himself so very little. Oppo opposing far from me, I've always been occupied by many active activities, clubs, or anything that requires me to move and stretch starting from middle school, and I am yet to do more. At first, I hadn't cared about his bit of a chub. But he's always, because he's always been on the bigger side. I am just like fumbling this. Like all of a sudden I can't read. Sorry guys. Sorry. Okay. He's always been on the bigger side. It wasn't until these past few months where I've been getting concerned. And I don't know how I can bring it up to him. He has opened up to me many times about how his physical appearance makes him insecure. It pains me to hear how poorly he speaks of himself. So when he's been put in, when he so the fact that he's been putting on even more pounds, it just concerns me. I've never had a thing for bigger men or anything. So dating him alone is far beyond what I'd go for. He's not just fat, he's obese. She's been emphasizing on that. I think I think we get it. As ashamed as I am saying it, I've gotten very very disgusted. It has been getting in the way of intimacy as well. I think that if I can manage to stay in shape and at least eat somewhat healthy, respecting the limits of my body, then he should too. I've been debating to myself whether or not if I should mention this to him. Kind of sounds to me that she's saying that she got into this relationship with him. He was on the bigger side. She usually doesn't go for bigger guys, but she did for the one time and he just kept getting bigger. Baby, you don't get with people in hopes that they change. Like, that's the worst thing you can do to yourself. Okay? You you don't do that. Like, I feel like you're going against the whole concept of loving somebody for who they are. You know? If, if you get with somebody in hopes of like, oh, they'll probably lose weight. Or, oh, they'll probably get um, richer. Or, oh, they'll probably get this. What if they don't? You can't force anybody to change. And so you shouldn't get with somebody based off of the fact that you're hoping that they change to fit your preference. 
they should be your they should already be your preference when you're getting with them you feel me he sounds like he has a lot of pros like she's already saying he's a very very good boyfriend he clearly seems to really you know love her it's just they're just having this like mishap which i feel like can be fixed i would say just approach him the way you would want to be approached the same way if you were in his position you would want your man to approach you try to take the same um approach with him be kind be try to be understanding as well people don't just up and lose weight like that you feel me um be understanding be patient maybe even try like to do things like couples workouts make it cute make it like fun for both of you so that he doesn't feel like isolated or like you know just I, I would say just she should try her best to like um be very kind about it I feel like a conversation definitely needs to be had and if he genuinely loves you and the and he's afraid of losing you it shouldn't be that big of an issue just try to approach it right I feel like the way you approach a situation has a big impact on how it's gonna come out how it's gonna play out you know and yeah just just be kind to him you feel me he seems like as you say like he's a good boyfriend he really really you know loves you or whatever he treats you well it's just this weight thing which i mean if it's affecting your relationship a conversation needs to be had you know and just do that you're not the asshole for wanting what you want but you know social media isn't the place to get advice you need to go talk to him have a conversation with him next would i be the asshole if i tell my roommate's long distant girlfriend he's a cheater i have a roommate who was a cheater a bad cheater he might have a new girl every week and a half over and tell him and tell me he will be busy in the room and to check the rug before using the key i do not mind him hooking up in the room overall Except this one time my phone was about to die after a long day and he was using it. This was until I found out he had a girlfriend. He called her and we asked about it and he said, don't worry, she's cheating too. But the next day he says to a mutual friend, what she don't know can't hurt her. Oof. My moral says to tell her, but the only way I would be able to say it to her would be when they are on a call. One time it did slip out on accident because he was quiet, but on but he was on a call. And I talked to him without knowing that. We ended up talking about the night before and I and I ended up bringing up how a girl stayed over. But the girlfriend gets super mad at him and he spends the rest of the nights hours on hours telling her it was nothing, which in this case was true. She forgives him and they call way more than before. However, I have her Instagram now. Do I tell her? And he, she, he, they ended up making an edit saying they've been together for three years. You know, I always think if I was ever in this situation where like, I know a guy who's cheating on somebody. Because people don't really take that well. Like you can easily be painted as the person who is trying to break up a relationship or like a marriage. But I always feel like if I was caught in a situation where I know somebody that I know or some girls getting cheated on, I always tell myself that I would make like a fake little Instagram account. Well, it could be Instagram, Facebook, whatever social media that I can find them on and text them anonymously. But you got to come with receipts. You can't just say he's cheating on you. Like there's a very high chance that that girl is still going to take him back, but at least you know you did right by yourself like i feel like you would feel more guilty if you didn't say anything than you saying something i would make like a fake social media and kind of send them the receipts always gotta have receipts please do not approach anybody about their man cheating or their spouse girl man whatever cheating without receipts because mm -mm, that's not getting nowhere i would have i would make sure i have receipts record him talking to some girl whatever make a fake account and send it to her but don't be that person who doesn't tell because karma you sit up here laughing about another girl's failure baby you're next
And then what? You gonna want somebody to tell you? If your nigga was cheating, you would want them. You would want somebody to snitch on them too. You would want to find out as soon as possible. Like, who wants to look dumb? Be for real. This one's longer. <sighs> so we got a lot of reading to do. Am I the asshole for confronting my 29-year-old sister-in-law for trying to act like the mother of my baby? I got a daughter, so I'm, I'm ready to see where this go. Mm -mm. Let's see where this is going, though. Okay. So she says, I am 29 year old, I'm a female, and I'm in a complex situation that I never thought I'd find myself in. My husband, who's 32 years old, and I decided to pursue surrogacy as we were unable to conceive on our own due to medical reasons. His sister, let's call her Sarah, is 45 years old and graciously offered to be our surrogate. She has two children of her own. One is a 22 year old female, the other is a... 24 year old male whose births went smoothly so we thought it wouldn't be a burden on her body and since she was healthy we agreed to do further we agreed to go further with the process fast forward to six months ago when our beautiful baby girl was born we were beyond grateful for to sarah for her incredible gift to us but that's when things started to take to get a little tricky Sarah seemed to get extremely possessive of the baby, acting like she was the mother. Whenever she would come over to our home, she insisted on being present for diaper changing, feeding, and nap time. At first, I had no problem with this, but I told her it would be better for her to rest, having given birth recently. But she insisted on helping out. But then, things changed. She constantly started telling me how to care for the baby as she has more experience. She acts like she knows what's best for our child more than we do. She even started referring to the baby as her baby. In front of our friends and family during family gatherings and constantly reminds them that she birthed the baby and tells people about my fertility issues, saying how unfortunate it is. This has caused tension between me and my husband. I've attempted to talk to my husband about it and while he acknowledged that her behavior can be overbearing, he didn't want to confront her because... He's afraid it will strain their relationships. Despite this, I finally decided to have a conversation with Sarah about her behavior. I expressed my gratitude for her surrogacy, but explained that it was causing confusion and stress for our family. I tried to explain how her actions were making me feel very overwhelmed and that I wanted to establish boundaries as it's my baby. She became emotional and accused me of not appreciating everything she had done for us. Reminded me that she was the, the reason we had a child in the first place. She said I was not understanding the bond that she had developed with the baby during pregnancy. After the argument, I noticed how some of my husband's side of the family started treating me different and looked at me different. I feel so stressed and don't know what to do. Where you messed up is doing something so major with family that is so close. I feel like she should have known right off the bat that that was going to cause issues almost like... I don't know much about surrogacy, but isn't that where you basically birth a baby for somebody else and you basically got to make sure you have no connections? If, unless it's something that you and the parents agreed upon, but that's um, a sticky situation. I just, I don't know. I wouldn't know how I'd handle that. Like, knowing the way I'm built, I would have took the baby, been like, here, sus, and disappeared out of her life. Boom. Gone. No explanation is nothing. Because... That's petty. The fact that she's around family members talking about I birthed the baby like we know, nigga. And like I feel like that's just I feel like she's being petty. Um, she's not being fair and y'all don't deserve to go through that. And I feel like um the husband should do more to stand up for her and actually set boundaries because he's the problem as well, like she shouldn't be the only one speaking. And the little family members that are treating her different. Please. Please. It don't got nothing to do with them, for real. But this situation is very, um, it's tough. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even know what to do in that situation. Like I said, though, me being me, would have took that baby before I even formed a connection with it. Gave it back, went on my merry way. I would have kept going. Gave that baby right back to her, disappeared. Out of your life, out of your brother, aka the husband, 
out of all y'all lives because that's weird that's petty and she don't got no business acting like that like you know what you signed up for when you signed up to be a surrogate like if you were doing that just so you can control these two people it's like it's wrong she's wrong you need to talk to your husband be more adamant tell him check your sister like because clearly the conversation you had with her all it did was draw the family members further from you as long as y'all got legal documentation that that baby is yours and clearly there has to be some form of agreement contract signed between you guys and her as long as y'all got that take y'all baby hop on out of there move to a whole different state away from her like i feel like y'all being that close is just it's not good it's not healthy like take y'all baby and go if y'all not gonna give it back to her take it go but yeah that's my last scenario for today yeah i hope you guys really enjoyed it because i had a lot of fun doing this i want to make this into like a series type of thing and how you did a really good job with choosing these they were really interesting thank you guys for tuning in don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn your post notification bell on so that you're notified whenever i post and yeah i'll see you guys next time bye 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 peace